So we're going to take an algebra break here for a minute before we get back into numbers. And here I'm back in using x's as my independent variable. And you'll have two different x values or two different time values. Uh, for our purposes, the x1 will be the end value or the larger value. x0 will be the initial or the smaller value. And we're going to relabel these right here. So in between the start and end, if you uh, think about this, this is an elapsed amount of time or how much distance is here. Above, we called it delta x. We're now going to use the letter H for that. So before we called it delta x or the change in x, we're now just going to call it H. And the initial x value, we're just going to call it x. And the final x value, because we've already have, we have the initial and the difference, we add up x plus h, we get x1. So x1 is x plus h. And what I'm going to do is now rewrite, substitute in here. So where I had x0, I'm going to put in x. And where I had x1, I'm going to put in x plus h. So we have f of, now this was x1, and so now I'm going to replace it with x plus h. Minus f of x0, which is now just regular x, divided by x1 minus x0. So again, x1 is x plus h. And I'll just wrap it in parentheses to keep it together. We'll simplify this next. Minus x0, which is just regular x. All right, let's simplify this. The numerator does not simplify. Denominator, however, you have x minus x. That cancels out. Those x's disappear. And you're just left with h in the denominator. This is called the difference quotient. And it's super important. What I put in a box, sometimes I put answers in a box, but I usually put really important uh, formulas in a box. If you remember a few videos back, I put average rate of change in a box and sort of just did it, really didn't mention it. But that's also super important, average rate of change. And here we are, difference quotient. We're going to be using this in quite a few examples coming up. Very important to either have this memorized or write it on your note page. But we're going to use it over and over and over again.